So friends, today we are going to solve a numerical problem which is based on the modified Goodman diagram. So the problem is as follows. There is a cantilever beam, okay, there is a cantilever beam which is made up of cold drawn steel 40 C8, okay, cold drawn steel 40 C8 having ultimate tensile strength as 602 Newton per mm square and yield strength in tension as 380 Newton per mm square. So the yield strength is given as 380 and the ultimate tensile strength as 602 Newton per mm square. Now the force P which is acting at the free end uh, of the cantilever varies from minus 45 Newton to plus 155 Newton. The expected reliability okay, is to be taken as 90% and the north sensitivity at the fillet section is taken as 0 .9 0 0.9% and we have to find out the diameter of the fillet at diameter of the beam at the fillet section that is at this section. So we have to find out the diameter of the beam at the fillet section. So we will solve this problem in a step by step manner. So this problem will consist of three steps. In the step number one we will calculate the uh, corrected endurance limit. In the next step we will construct the modified Goodman diagram and in the last step we will solve the numerical problem, this numerical problem using that modified Goodman diagram and find out the diameter at this fillet section. So without wasting any time, let us start this problem. So let us see what is given to us. So it is given to us that the maximum load which is acting is given as 155 Newton and the minimum load is given as minus 45 Newton. That is it is a fluctuating loading which is varying from 155 Newton to minus 45 Newton and the ultimate tensile strength is given to us as 602 Newton per mm square and the yield strength and tension is given as 380 Newton per mm square. The reliability is given as 90% and the notch sensitivity is given as 0 0.9. Now the material is cold drawn steel for cantilever beam. Okay. Now friend these are the various dimensions which are also given. This is the diameter D that we have to find out at this fillet section. That is, we have to find out the value of this D. Okay. And this is 100 mm. And this dimension is 60 mm. And this is 1.5 D. Okay. This dimension is 1.5 D. And the fillet radius 0.2 D. Now, in any problem which is related to the fluctuating loading condition, the first step is always to find the corrected endurance limit. Okay, so you have to find out the corrected endurance limit always in every problem of fluctuating loading condition. It is the first step. So for steel, the endurance limit is given as SE dash is equal to 0 0.5 times SUT that is the ultimate tensile strength and the ultimate tensile strength is given as 600 to Newton per mm square. So multiplying 600 to by 0 0.5 we will get 301 Newton per mm square. Now, including the correction factor to this endurance limit, the corrected endurance limit is given by SEC. Okay, this is SEC is the corrected endurance limit and it is given as KA, KB, KC, KD and SE dash where these all are the correction factors and SE dash we have already calculated. Now we have to find out these correction factors. KA is the surface finish factor and it is equal to 0 0.76 for cold drawn steel having ultimate tensile strength 600 to newton per mm square okay so i will show you how you will find out the this factor ka see this type of graph will be available in all design data books and for this sorry not this type this not this this is not that uh, graph this these type of graph okay so these type of graph will be available in all design data book and for cold drawn steel you can see that corresponding to the ultimate tensile strength of 602 newton per mm square this 600 newton per 602 newton per mm square will lie here and when you go vertically upward that is draw a line like this then it will cut here at the cold drawn steel 
and the corresponding to this when you go horizontal you can find the value of ka that is the surface finish factor so you can look into your design data book and you can find the value of surface finish factor and it is coming out to be nearly equal to 0.76 okay so we have find out the value of ka i have explained how we have calculated the value of ka now kb is the size factor now because the diameter d is not known to us it is required to find the diameter d in the question so we will assume that the kb is equal to 1 now kc is the reliability factor now corresponding to the 90% reliability the value of the reliability factor is 0.896 you can look into your design data book for this value of reliability corresponding to 90% reliability the value of reliability factor now kt the theoretical stress concentration factor we have to calculate in order to calculate this kd because kd is uh, depends upon this kt so first we will find the kd okay so kd here is the modifying factor to account for the stress concentration for this to find this kd we have to first find out the kt now how we will find out the kt now this is our loading condition okay the corresponding to this geometry and this type of loading condition you can go into your design data book and look for this graph because this geometry is similar to this component and the loading is similar because bending moment is acting over this component and similarly here this force will result into a bending moment mb here okay so this is similar loading condition as similar geometry of the component is here so we can find out the value of kt using this table it will be available in all design data book this type of graph okay so how we will find out now we can see that r by d here is r by d okay the ratio of this to this so here r by d ratio will be equal to our r by d ratio will be equal to 0.2d divided by d that is 0.0.2d divided by d which will come out to be 0.2 so r by d ratio here will be 0.2 for this uh, particular case so 0.2 we will mark here okay and uh, uh, the d by d ratio this d by d ratio we have to find out so in this case d by d ratio will be equal to 1.5 why because this is equal to 1.5 d and this is d so d by d ratio will be equal to 1.5 so d by d ratio we will look for this graph here d by d ratio is equal to 1.5 and uh, corresponding to this uh, graph and this point that is 0.2 we have already calculated d by d ratio r by d ratio so when we go vertical here to this graph of 1.5d d by d is equal to 1.5 okay this this graph we will look and when we go horizontal then we can find out the value of kt so the value of kt is 1.4 nearly equal to 1.4 So the value of kt is calculated nearly equal to 1.44 okay now using the kf is equal to 1 plus q kt minus 1 where kf is the fatigue concentration factor and q is the notch sensitivity which is given to us as 0.9 the value of kt is 1.44 already calculated from here we can find out the value of kf as 1.396 by substituting all these value now the kd that is the modifying factor to account for stress concentration is given as 1 upon kf now kf is given as 1.396 we have already calculated putting this value here we can find out the value of kt now we have find out all the correction factors the value of all the correction factor has calculated so the value of corrected endurance limit se this se will be equal to sec is equal to k kb kc kd se dash so multiplying all these value okay we can find out the value of this sec that is the corrected endurance limit so the value of corrected endurance limit is calculated now the next step will be uh the step number 2 in the step number 2 we will construct the modified goodman diagram so modified goodman diagram will be constructed here so how we will do that let's see this so the maximum uh, ma modified goodman diagram construction will be at the flat section because we have to find out the diameter at the flat section that is we have to find out the diameter d here okay this diameter d will be uh, also equal to d here also at the flat section so we have to calculate d so uh, we have to consider this flat section 
because in question it is required that you have to find out the diameter at the fillet section so i am considering the fillet section and drawing modified goodman diagram for this fillet section fillet cross section okay that is here now let us see this the maximum bending moment at fillet cross section will be equal to mb max is given by 155 into 100 is equal to 15500 how we have calculated this the maximum force is 155 okay and the distance is 100 mm okay this distance is 100 mm that is the fillet section that is this is the force and the distance between this force and the fillet section is 100 mm so moment at maximum bending moment at fillet section will be equal to this that is this force multiplied by this distance similarly minimum bending moment at the fillet section this fillet section will be equal to minimum force multiplied by this distance that is the 100 so we will get 1 minus 4500 newton mm and the mean bending moment will be equal to by calculated to using this formula so substituting the value of mb max from here and mb min from here we can find out the value of mean bending moment and the bending moment amplitude is given by this formula so substituting the value of mb max from here and mb min from here we can find out the value of bending moment amplitude which will come out to be 10000 newton mm now slope of load line we have to calculate the in the next step we have to calculate the slope of the load line so how we will calculate the slope of the load line it will be equal to this mba divided by mbm mb mba we have calculated here mbm we have calculated here so dividing these two things we can get the value of tan theta and the theta will come out to be 60 degree so now the next step is the construction of the modified goodman diagram this step was very important because theta is required to construct the load line so this is a very important step so getting the theta is very important now let us see the modified goodman diagram how we will see this modified goodman diagram draw this modified goodman diagram we all know that on sigma m x uh, on the x axis there will be sigma m that is the mean stress and on the y axis there will be sigma a that is the stress amplitude now uh, you have to draw a uh, yield line at an angle of 45 degree from this point that is the syt that is the yield strength and tension which is given at 380 in question so from here you have to draw at a 45 degree a line which will intersect this line at sigma a x is at syt that is at the 380 that is the yield strength and tension and it is given to us as 380 in the question so yield line is constructed now goodman line we have to construct so goodman line start from sut that is the ultimate tensile strength so sigma m x is at sigma m x is intercept is sut that is a 602 newton per mm square which is given in the question that is the ultimate tensile strength this is the ultimate tensile strength now construct a line uh, which will uh, join the sut here and sec that is the corrected endurance limit on sigma a x is and corrected endurance limit we have already calculated in the previous step which was 146 newton per mm square so we have cal we we can join these two point to get the goodman line so we have uh, uh, drawn the yield line and we have drawn the goodman line db okay and the yield line c we have already drawn now we have to draw a load line so we have calculated the angle theta the theta we have calculated so at an angle 60 degree we will draw the load line and join the load line will intersect this line db at point x okay mark this point as x now you have to darken this line b a c so this is our modified goodman diagram that is b a c is our modified goodman diagram now this point x denotes the uh, solution of our problem so we have to find out the coordinate of this point x so how we will calculate the coordinate of this point x we can find the coordinate of this point x by solving the equation of the two lines that is the line ba and the line ox so the equation of line ba is this and the equation of line ox is this why the line ba is the goodman line so the equation of this line is this line ba is this and the equation of line ox is this that is equal to tan theta that is sigma a by sigma m sigma a by sigma m is equal to tan theta is the equation of line ox and this is the equation of line ba this is the equation of line ba that is the equation of goodman goodman line this is the equation now if when we solve this because uh, sigma a and sigma m here are unknown 
and this SEC is known to us, SUT is known to us, that is ultimate tensile strength is known to us and theta is also known to us. So here in these two equations, that is this equation and this equation, you can see that uh, the two unknowns are sigma a and sigma m, sigma a and sigma m here. So you will solve this equation to get the value of sigma m and sigma a. So you can get the coordinate of this point x as sigma m and sigma a here. Okay, it is 71.225 and 129.489. Now solution of the point x, that is the coordinate of the point x are these, these two points. Okay, now we have to find out the diameter at this split section. So the maximum, the mean bending moment is given as 32 mbm divided by pi dq, where mbm is the mean bending moment and the uh, stress amplitude, the, this sigma a is equal to 32 mb by pi dq, mba by pi dq, where mba is the bending moment amplitude. So we know the value of mbm from here. We know the value of MBA from here and the value of sigma M is known here and the value of sigma A is known from here. So we can calculate the value of the diameter. Only unknown is diameter. So using these two equations, we can calculate the value of the diameter and both these equations will give the same value of the diameter. So this was all for today's topic friends and if you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for the notification of the upcoming videos. So thank you friends for watching this video.